Right, just going to have a look through my book collection there. Top shelf, you've got Sven Hassel, uh, or Hassel, depending on how you want to see it. Great war stories, Second World War, German perspective. Love them. If you walk, look away now, we have our John Norman collection, about mm, a dozen of those as well. And then we went to the horror section of our collection. Love Anna Dracula, I've read that many times. Down the second shelf, we have the 2080 collection of books, about 8 or 10 of those. A mixture of short stories and single standalone books. I Will Fear No Evil, do love that one, by Rob Erhalen. Some Bradbury there, Silverberg. Move on to Harry Harrison, which I've got almost the whole collection of the Stainless Steel Rat novels. There was a couple they done as um, Russian ones, which I haven't managed to get hold of, but I will eventually, I suppose, if I really want them. At the end, we have one of my favourite authors as a teen, was uh, Douglas Hill. Loved the Galactic Warlord series and Warriors of the Wasteland series, which I've got in hardback at the back there. Moving on, we have the Xenia. Yes, I know that's not how you say it, but that's how I say it. Xenia series, about 20 of these, of course. I've got this collection of uh, Body of a Space Tyrant. I've got the whole of the Incarnations of Immortality. Pale Horse is just the first, but also probably one of the best. Asimov, I have the complete foundation at the back there, and most of his iRobot series too. Case of Steel is just one I happen to love. I just love the funky colour in that book. Okay. Next shelf, a few hardbacks I've collected here there. More important stuff, Calvin and Hobbes. I've got most of the Calvin and Hobbes books and collections. I've still got a couple kicking about somewhere else. Thiedwell. Now, Thiedwell is a very British thing, uh, but it is just hilarious wee comics, comic book things. Um, he done one page things in books, just to get an idea. <laughs> it, it does. It was like social characterization of the the times, um, pol sort of satire really, but very funny, especially the the pony stories. Uh, if you're not British, you probably won't get it. But, um, we're going through a few classic books, Art of War. We have a Conan collection here. Again, a variety of authors who wrote it over the years. But to my mind, even though I love Conan. All Monarch is still his best book. I would never done better than that. It's a beautifully crafted adventure story. Just stand heads and above anything he wrote for Conan. And we're down to our graphic novels again. I've got the pro there just because it's f <laughs> that makes me laugh and it's a fun read. Uh, League of Gentlemen at the end there. Oh, extraordinary Gentlemen, sorry. Uh, I've got, of course, the Complete Boys. Who doesn't? X Mac and uh, Alan Moore's top 10 books really good. Global Frequency, I loved that as well by Warren Ellis, that was really good. Classics, we've got The Crow, Electra Saga, Watchmen, Camelot, and Viva Vendetta. Just one of the big comics at the time, Give Me Liberty of course was a great one as too. Next shelf we have, yeah. it's an unusual one to put down I suppose, but I just love this one of Lex Luthor. It just, it was the perfect book to love him, so that's why I kept that. Batman books, uh, I, I like his more unusual stuff like the, the Vampire series, uh, Crimson Mist etc, that was great. That bleeds into some Superman books then. Again, some of the good stuff like there was Superman is Dark so yeah, I like the kind of different imagining of the characters. Punisher books, <laughs> these were great when they were, up, when they were done and redone up. All my little stories, fun to read. Um, a few Hellblazers there. Uh, and Rover plays Mr. Walker, thank you. And we have The Midnighter, some of these, very good as well. Um, more collection, I do like Madame Xanadu as a character, just some of my favourites. Preacher, most of that series. And finally on the bottom shelf we have, well this is a collection of magazines, uh, the first editions, uh, so like uh, issue 100 of Bazaar, issue 50 of Bazaar, and stuff like that, just kind of celebration issues I keep, I've kept all the years. A couple of greats, I've got the Apocalypse War there, and the Curse of Death from 2008, Transformers, um, 
Tolkien, Power of Iron Man, and we have more these Tom Strong books again. Quite good. I can't, I'm not sure I put these sideways. I don't know. And finally, ending up there down the bottom here, the Why the Last Man again, complete set of that. Great stories to read. Uh, these are a couple of favourites which I, I do sit through now and again. I'll go and sit down and just look through them. The best, the victor, right? And the best, the comics went to war again. I have a large collection of commandos still. I uh, probably had about three or four. I don't know, maybe about six or seven hundred actually commandos at one point, but very few now. But that is my book collection altogether. Again, lots of good stuff in there. Just stuff I can't part with because I still want to read it all. That'll do for that.